Okay, hello everybody. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, good whatever it might be when and wherever you might be watching this. So, I went and I've decided what I'm going to do with my show. If you're watching this, Right here, right now, I am live on Twitch. I've brought it back live. But I'm not stopping with the YouTube uploads. If you're watching this live or if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you, first of all. Be sure you hit the little buttons and such. But I thought I could have a either or approach, but I've decided to take a blended approach to where I'm going to do this live. I need to figure out a uh, certified time um, once I look over the various amounts of data that I have on when my internet generally behaves which right now as I'm streaming this it is 3.30 on a Tuesday which is within that time ring with time frame when my internet is okay it doesn't mess up uh, a lot of times so what I'm doing is I'm streaming it earlier than I normally would because remember when I would stream it later my internet would always be screwed up and I don't want that to happen to my shows so I'm streaming it now though I need to figure out and pick and submit a time So I can have a regular schedule that I will be live on Tuesday and Thursday at this time with these shows and I know my winter internet will be okay but what I'm doing just in case something happens during this time when my shows are going on is I'm still going to take the raw video file that is on my computer take that video file and as soon as I'm done with this show I'm gonna click offline and start the upload process and put it on YouTube and like have it go live tomorrow so if something for whatever reason does happen when this show is live the very next day after YouTube's done processing it and everything else it will go live tomorrow the very next day so if you want to see what happens as it actually happened without it being all screwed up visually you can so that's the plan that's what we're doing but that also still give me time of an evening to stream regularly I think I'm stream whatever I want to stream and keep up with how my internet is acting which by the way my internet obviously has been acting up at several specific times of an evening and as much as I can or want to complain nothing is really gonna happen right now because um, let's just say a lot of the workers that will be working around here have actually been sent down into Kentucky to help with things down there. And if you don't know what that is, it's, 
it's its whole big thing. But we're here for a wrestling show. So let's get into the wrestling show news. And the biggest news, obviously, is what happened on Totally Screwed a couple days ago. So, here's the news. Obviously, I totally screwed. We got some big wins, big losses, and some totally screwed this happened. One of the first things that happened was Neko Cell has once again become the G1 Women's Champion. How did she do that? Well, you can have a little look see on the YouTube video and see exactly how she did that. As Hello, Donut. Welcome. Glad to see you here. Then, another thing happened with the DWHIP Championship with D-Range and Kanan, where they had quite the match. They went to war, as it were. They had a heated match, but ultimately D-Range still has the title. Uh, speaking and keeping things on the women, the G1 Women's Tag Team Match. And the bus ride. Jim of Bosox and Large Marge. They ended up persevering against their rivals, Ashley and Meg. For a win and grabbing a hold of the tag team titles. But now on the flip side though for the bus ride. Jimbo Sox and Eric would not have the same luck, the same outcome, because reset Patrick and Rope. The Dangerous Alliance, as they are called, have come out of their crucial match for the titles with the win, and they once again are a tag team champions. And then we can't forget what happened between a whole host of people in a battle royal match for that contract case where he had like Tom, Demon, Family. He had a bunch of people in this match. But ultimately, the Mighty Joe ended up securing the case. So we have a new person with a case running around. And then, last but not least, we have a new G1 world title holder. Goes by the name of Tanner the Tank. And that is the biggest news that you're going to hear from the pay-per-view on this show. And now... Go ahead and get into what kind of matches you're going to see tonight or this afternoon or this evening or during the day, whatever you're watching. So now, we're going to start off with the women's tag team match, then a one-on-one falls count anywhere guys match, then we've got a one-on-one normal guys match, then another one-on-one normal guys match. Then a women's 
Bleh. Hair on my mouth, sorry. A women's one-on-one -on -one falls count anywhere match. And then, just before the main event, we have another women's tag team match. And then, the main event, we have a one-on-one -on -one guys normal match. And that'll do it. That's what we got to look forward to. Hope you're all excited. I know I am. Heaven knows what's going to happen. Because. Because. I don't know if y'all know this or not, but. It's the most exciting time in the G1 Wrestling Universe because of the next pay-per-view that we have coming up. And if anybody can guess what that pay-per-view is, you get a nice gold star. <laughs> and also, I just want everybody to be aware that the voice mod thing is on. If you look down below, if you're on a PC or whatever, and you can see that panel where you can pay a couple bits to have my voice change, you can go ahead and do that if you want to, let's just say, spice things up. Just for shits and giggles. Because why not? I mean, it's just as much your show as it is my show. And it's interactive in all aspects. Even that one. So, let's go ahead and get this show cracking, shall we? Welcome, welcome back to the G1 Wrestling Universe. We stand in the shadow of some people getting totally screwed. What does this show have in store here live in East Rutherford? Well, you're just going to have to sit back, relax, and find out right now. the thing and now we're loading up the match now obviously this is going to be very very different from how you have watched the past month or so because we have to wait on the game to load which granted isn't terribly long a lot of the times depending on the match and what happens or what it has to load because over the past month, I've added, I've edited, edited this out. You know, it's just like, and you know, granted, it's only been a little bit, but still, that is time off the off the clock, you know, so to speak. And 
can it can add up, right? So that little bit out of the way, the first match, the tag team women's match is up ready to go as we've got Hugabalux and Banana Poet versus the Storm Sisters. All right, welcome everybody here, Knocked Down. We are starting off with some tag team action. Coming out first, here comes Hugs and Banana Poet. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, H-U-G-S and Big Bad V. Now for their opponents, the Storm family. Tia Storm and Maria Storm, the family. And here we go. I'm gonna say, good to see these two, Banana Poet and Hug specifically. Last time they were out here in tag team action, there was a little bit of friction, a little bit of uh, rough around the edges, but all that seems to be fine, cleared up, you know. As here they're going to be taking on the uh, Storm Sisters. And now, whoa! <laughs> Tag made to bring in the other Storm Sister going out after hugs, but Snapmare and oh no, countered! Swing and a miss, kick to the midsection from hugs, as now they're just. Fighting on the outside here, and nope. Our, now, this is a regular match. The rut is counting here. And the suplex right next to the official's table and dropping a knee now. Oh, she. And oh, bouncing off the pole. Eight. And at the count of eight, we are 
back in, in the ring. Hugs definitely needs to make a tag, but not gonna happen, not yet, as no reversal in the corner. Hugs grabs Storm, puts her over in the corner right next to Banana. Tag made, double team time for Banana Poet and Huggable Lux. Nice! Double toss. But up with an uppercut comes Storm. Banana Poet put in the corner. Tag made. Double team and uh-oh. Storm just smashing Banana Poet in the corner. But Banana Poet gets right up, catches that kick, and takes out Tito Storm. And now stomp to that little face of hers. Now Banana Poet taking this Storm Sisters, snapping her down to the mat right in front of Hug of a Luck there in the corner. Gonna go over, bring back in Hug of a Luck. And now Hugs with the hair and the head and smack! Rolls over into a cover. Look at it like it's easy, but no. Teal Storm able to get out of it. Put Hug of Lux in the corner. Nobody home though. So Hugs takes advantage and nobody home for her either. Put into a different corner and flips her out of it. And oh, right into the knee goes Hugs' face. Hugs in the Storm family's corner. And there's a storm front rolling through, and it's doing a lot of damage to Hugs now. As now, Maria Storm in there with the cover, and only one. And now, the kicks. Oh, right upside the head. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. On the top, this ain't gonna be good. Oh, no. Hugs is down. This is not good. But no, reversal from Hugs here on the outside. Back and forth, they brawl. And no hugs landing on her feet. Gets out of that, but immediately gets punched. And oh, that knee. And back into the ring at the count of seven. Hugs with a bit of a submission here. And nope, slips right out of it. Hugs with Storm in the corner. Oh, nails her. Goes quickly for a cover, but an immediate kick out. Not, not, not going down yet. Not like that, says Storm. Says Maria Storm. And smack. And side slam. Way down to the mat there. And now smashing the knee into the mat. Huggable Lux just being vicious, but a quick reversal of fortune with that DDT right there from Storm. Leg drop. 
for a follow-up. As now Storm making a big comeback now. And, ooh, a taunt. As now a big hug from behind, a hug of a Lux, but Storm throwing elbows, reversing it. That's a cover. But only two. And kick to the midsection from Hugs. Hugs goes over, bring in Banana Poet now. Hugs with her up on the shoulder. Down with the cover, with that leg. And only two, though. Scoop and counter. By Storm. Uh-oh. Getting pumped. Scoop. Oh no, this might be bad for Banana Poet as the leg is hooked. But no, only two. And a big knockout punch. Drags Banana Poet away from Hugs. Gets the tag to bring it in her sister. But an uppercut up to her feet. Into the corner, nobody home. But counter. Gotta say, I thought that was it for a second, but no. This match continues on. Continues to be quite the battle. Monkey flip, banana poet out of the corner. Couple of stomps. To the other corner. Nobody there that time. Banana Poet taking advantage. Going over and hangs her across that top rope. Kick to the midsection. Oh no! Forehead just met the knee of Tia Storm. And a kick out just in the nick of time at two as the other Storm sister takes out Banana Poet. Banana Poet all alone. This ain't good as the cover is made. But again, only two. Oh, there we go. Nice reversal. Banana Poet back on her feet, but no. Tia Storm pushing for the win. Now wraps her up in her legs. Nails her with an elbow right to the head. Now in the corner goes Banana Poet. The, uh, uh oh, oh no. Now it's Banana Poet's time to go for a ride. Off the top rope. All the way to the floor. Oh my goodness. That's both of them now. And oh, counter up, but it looks like Huggable Lux is finally back up in her corner where she needs to be. Banana Poet thrown back into the ring. And, whoop, oh, no! Goes back out to meet Tia Storm. And smash her face first into the side of the ring. Also restarts that count. Snap suplex. Ooh, bounces 
Lesnar off that metal pole. And now at the count of seven, we are finally back into the ring. Banana Poet, though, crawling to try and make it to her corner, but Storm won't let her. Hoists her up on her shoulders and hangs her. Neck first on that top rope. Moves her, goes for the cover, and oh no, getting the leg up, but still able to kick out. Banana Poet not looking too good here, being isolated all alone. Huggable locks now. Needs to do something to try and help, try and get in this match somehow, some way. As now up on the shoulders and oh, incredible cutter. Banana Poet is down, cover is made. Is that it? No, it is not. What is Storm trying to do now? Here we go, Irish whip over into the corner. A little, little taunting. That obviously never hurt anybody. Is now tag me, double team time from the Storm Sisters. And up and over goes Banana Poet. Flying through the air as Maria Storm, uh oh, gets caught. They lock up, they struggle, they break apart. And a kick to the midsection from Maria Storm. And a big old running power bomb into the corner. Tag made once again. And whoa, slips to the outside real quick. But Tia Storm comes after. And sit back into the ring with the help of an elbow to the face. Banana Poet crawling, can't get there again. Thrown way across to the other side of the ring. Tag made, more double team. And making her fly. And oh, oh, more taunting from the Storm Sisters. But Banana Poet takes out the legs. I think Banana Poet's had enough because here comes the big, bad, bam, Banana Slam. Grabs the leg for the cover, but Tia Storm is not able to break it up. And Banana and Hugs able to get the win. Banana Poet gets the win, but Huggable Lux ain't happy about it. Arguing, oh! She's out of here and we'll be back with more next on Knockdown. Hello? I think my son's school sent a text message as a voice message. Yep. Yep, they did. <laughs> Yeah, there seems to be a little trouble in the Banana Poet and Huggable Lux thing still, right? But now, up next, we got another match coming.
So now we wait for the next match, and as soon as I open my mouth, it gets done. <laughs> And this is what we got. Ariel Morales versus Fanboy Brian in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Why? I don't know. I don't know. It's just what the game put, so. Yeah, because why not? I don't know why, so... Here we go! We are back here on Knockdown! And we've got a one-on-one -on -one -one match. As coming out first, it is Ariel Morales! Making his way to the ring from Queens, New York, weighing in at 220 pounds, But now, for his opponent, big time fanboy Brian. And his opponent, from parts unknown, weighing in at 220 pounds, big time Brian. And here we go. Now, this is a false count anywhere match. Now, what brought upon this match? Well, I know what brought about this match, really, if you think about it. I mean, because Morales was just the other day at Totally Screwed, where Fanboy Brian, in a Battle Royal match, lost that case. As you can see, he, well, does not have it. Who does have it? Well, the Mighty Joe. And he is mighty dangerous with that case. He did not know, but because of that match, Fanboy Brian got totally screwed, and obviously, whoa! Hoo -hoo, Morales jumping out of the way just in the nick of time. But apparently, I'm guessing Morales did not like being put in that match. Did not like being also eliminated the way he was. If you can recall, he was just 
kind of dumped out the side of the match. I believe it was by fanboy Brian himself. So yeah, yeah. It's now kick to the midsection. Oh, there we go, Morales. Turning this around, getting the upper hand here. Oof. It's now, uh-oh. Ben O'Brien climbing up. Here it comes, six star frog splash. Quickly capitalizing with a cover. And no, only two. But now the question is, what's going to happen in this match? Remember, this is Falls Count Anywhere. It can stay in the ring, you know. But the thing is, will it go possibly outside of the ring you know should it go outside the ring that is the question is that what the g1 universe wants to see as fanboy brian on the side of the ring and a big right hand to the floor he goes we are now outside and up on the shoulders uh oh oh no as you can see, the ref is out there with them. Pinfall, submission inside, outside the ring. Doesn't matter as Morales brings it back inside. Uh, wait a minute. He's waiting on the side of the ring. Launches himself off the... No! Just smacked away by Brian. And, whoa, dodged. But Brian... Here, making a comeback. And whoop, no. Brian not out. Not down. Continuing, coming back into the ring. As, oh no, he's in the corner. Fanboy Brian, watch out, Morales. Here comes, big time cartwheel. Head kick. Cover is made. Does it? Fanboy Brian gets the win. Oh man, Morales unfortunately unable to pick up the victory. Get as as we'll be right back here on Knockdown next. So whoever that was supposed to be did not load. <laughs> now I'm sure I'll see who it was in like the news next week for Knockdown.
All right, next match is loaded up. As we've got Tom the Iron Man Harvey versus Word man. back and we got more action coming your way out knocked down as now here comes Tom the Iron Man Harvey making his way to the ring from the edge of reality weighing in at 220 pounds Tom the Iron Man Harvey Now for his opponent, Wordman. And there's the bell, and here we go. Believe it or not, uh, I'm totally screwed in another person that we saw in that, uh, let's just say, ill-fated for fanboy Brian, of all people, uh, Battle Royal for the case, where obviously Tom, the Iron Man, Harvey, he also doesn't have the case, which, again, we went over. We went over. But... Still, the fact is that was one, if not a few other moments at that pay-per-view where somebody got totally screwed. I mean, depending on who you ask, uh, the uh, first match of the night was a elimination chamber match for the women's title depending on who you ask about who won that and how and 
the previous champ kind of got totally screwed as oh tom just dumps word man to the outside over the top rope but a lot of crazy things happened that night Wordman, Snapmare now with the arm, throwing some elbows. And, oh! That kick caught him right on the chin. And now Wordman climbing up. He sees his target. And here comes Flying Kick up the top rope. Nails Tom right in the head. Goes for the cover but only gets a two. Wordman now going after the arm. Gonna look to continue to wear down Tom, but hits Tom with an uppercut. And now up and, uh-oh! Wordman, once again, going over quickly, climbing up to the top rope. Off he goes, dropping an elbow to nobody there. Nobody is there for that elbow. So Tom, uh oh, ironclad DDT. He goes for the cover now. And only two, though. But oh, Wordman takes out the leg. And whoop catches that incoming punch. Nails him with the drop kick. And counter. Arm drag throw. It's Tom double under hook. Suplex. And oh, his shoulders are down. Tom. Woo! Able to get out of it. As once again, word man climbing. He is feeling about good about flying high today for some reason as here he comes flying kick off the top rope again goes for the cover is this it for Tom no only two word man getting a little frustrated now Word man doing everything he can to push for the victory here. Keep Tom down, wear Tom down, and oh, miss him with that kick. Though he grabs Tom again. And now has the arm, but Tom is under the ropes. He rolls out to the floor on the outside to try and recover and recuperate, but Word man is coming out right after him. And no, Tom smashed into the side of the ring. Before crawling back up, back in. And nails him, oh my God! And a fireball punch, Tom goes down. This could be it for him as he grabs the leg. There's two and a three. We look at the replays here. Wordman going all out. Going high, flying time every time he can. And it done him well today. It's now off the top. Again, word man doing everything. Look at that. Tom able to dodge that kick. He didn't dodge one later. Watch. Boom. Turns Tom all the way around. Here is your winner, Ross Ward Man. That is that. As we will be back with more next here on Knockdown. Whew. 
Good match. Now, next match, load no. Nope. And there it is. Up next, we have Xander versus Shiro. back on knockdown and we've got another match coming up one-on-one -on -one matches coming out first where where is he where is he he's always there he is the x-factor making his way to the ring from orlando florida weighing in at 220 pounds the x-factor Sander. Opponent, the savant and of the suplex, accompanied by Shiro. Dawn. And from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 260 pounds, Henry Rivera. There's the bell, and the suplexes have begun. But Xander should not fear, for he is a uh, 
technical master himself, maybe not so much a suplex uh, person like Shiro likes to uh, dole out any and every moment he can. And now up and again! Now into the corner, Xander running. Oh, nails him. Also, don't forget, Shiro's got Don out there by his side, which is always a good thing, specifically for Shiro. Because Shiro, let's just say, uh, more times than not, has a uh, better outcome when someone you know, like Don is by his side, or ringside, as we had a cover attempt. Didn't get very far, but an attempt was indeed made. And now, ooh, with the arm. And now, oh. Five. Count them, five headbutts from Shiro. Heck is that man's head made of to just do that? Not be phased by it whatsoever. And oh, there's an elbow. That'll get him to back off. As now, uh oh, Xander climbing up. He's going up. He's up, he's off, and nobody there for that elbow, though. As now, Shiro grabbing a hold of Xander. Big chop, puts him in the corner. Full body with a little bit of panache there. And now here they come, Shiro suplexes. And three. And ooh, here we go. Cover made. No, even after the SKO, a kick out was made. And nope, nope. And no, couldn't grab him. Now the kicks. Irish whip, Xander, Mashir off the ropes, and whoa, my goodness. And now, oh, he's got him. He's got him locked in, taking him down to the mat with his submission. And he taps. There is your winner. Now we see these. See these replays here from this crazy match. I'm surprised. To be honest, I'm surprised that. Shiro somehow, someway did not do it. But no, see here, right here. Xander locked him in. Would not let go. Dragging him to the mat. You see Shiro struggling. Straining, trying to get out. Couldn't do it though. And the tab gun. Here is your winner, the X Factor, Xander. That is that. 
and we will be back with more next here on Knockdown. Not bad in the match. So now, the next match, one-on-one, -on -one, falls count on anywhere match. Hey, look at that. It is already loaded up. As we've got Victoria S. Versus... The G1 champion, Neko Cell. Welcome to my oh no! As what? Oh come on! Really? I am. I wish I could be surprised by what I just saw, but I am not. Not one bit. After what happened, that totally screwed. I am not surprised by this. Neko Cell just attacked by Lee. If you were not privy to what happened on Totally Screwed, let's just say it came down to the wire. And Nekosel ended up winning. And somebody not very happy about not getting their title back, to say the least. But Neko Stell, Neko Stell, looking okay, looking good. Now going to do that Lucha thing she did so well. Oh, but a counter from Victoria. Like herself, the champ on the side of the ring. Coming back in. But, oh, quick punch. Into the corner running. Drop kick got denied. As now Victoria with the cover. And no, not yet. Now we are on the outside. As you can see, this is indeed a Falls Count Anywhere match, like we saw earlier. Now we're up. 
All right, Victoria bringing this back into the ring. And, oh, no quick counter. Here it comes up, and oh my goodness, right on her head. Going for the cover immediately after. And two. Kick out at two. And now, the cat's cradle. The cover. Three, that does it. Nekozel, once again, proven she herself is a force to be reckoned with. But it's not like Victoria did not try and take advantage of the opportunity given here tonight with Nekozel. Nekosel just persevered, pushed through, came out on top, as you can see through all these replays. Here is your winner, Nick O'Sal. Despite some interference, Nekosel getting the win. As we'll be right back with more next. Here on Knockdown. All right. Next match is loading up, and I. I need to go pee. Okay. I'm back. The match is loaded. As we've got a tag team match, a rematch, technically, from the pay per view between the tag team champions and the former. <laughs> the former now tag team champion. Okay. As Banana Poet, welcome in. Hello, welcome, welcome. Thank you for the raid. I will say this, unfortunately, you missed your match. Your match was earlier. All right, but don't worry. Don't 
worry, okay? Because I'm doing the dual approach that I talked about to where this show will be put up on YouTube and uploaded immediately. Immediately. Okay? So, once it's done processing and stuff, it'll be out tomorrow. Okay? And you can go back, you can watch it, see all the other stuff you might have missed, and also view it in its pure form, you know, just in case anything messes up with my internet, which I don't want to jinx it. Nothing has happened because it is in this time frame where my internet behaves itself, which is why I'm doing it now. So speaking of doing these things now, we need to do this tag team match now. The bus ride versus the aces. All right, we are back and we've got more tag team action coming your way. As we've got a bit of a rematch from Totally Screwed, we've got now coming out your new Tag Team Champs, The Bus Ride. On the way to the ring, accompanied by The Professor, Jim O, and The Women's Champions, Gorgeous. J, the bombshell, O, and Marge, the bad girl. For the rematch, totally screwed. Here comes the aces. And their opponent, Megan and Ashley Martin, the awesome one. All right, here we go, and oh, my goodness. They both came full tilt out of the corners at each other. And Gemma got the upper hand there for the moment. As now this bit of a rematch from Totally Screwed where the Aces lost out to, let's just say, a bit of a fan favorite here. The universe has definitely gotten behind Jimma and Large Marge. As a knee to the face, as you can see, and here, the Aces just being nasty in the ring. Brutal. 
As now look at this off the second rope, right to the arm. In comes Ashley Martin. Corner flipped out of that corner. And uppercut back to her feet. And whoop, nope, rolled through. Jimma stomped in the arm. Gotta say, it was quite the tag team match. It, well, no, this is a regular tag team match. They had themselves a, um, a tornado tag team match. So it was every, well, every woman for themselves. As now boot to the face. First whip into the corner. Large Marge right there, but no! Missing in the corner here again. Ashley Martin throwing her back to the Aces corner. And reversal. And oh, an elbow shot. Jimma grabs her, puts her in the corner, and nails her that time. Ashley trying to crawl away. Jimma not letting her. And now, uh-oh, from behind, Jimma jumps to slam! And, oh, they both miss with... Oh, well, nope, Ashley gets that kick. And follows up with a princess kick, but Jimma pushes her away. And now again, another Jimma Justice Slam into a cover. But that foot is under the ropes. As the tag team champs definitely taking the control of this match here. Jimma, at the very least, yet to make a tag to Large Marge, yet really needing to, I guess as I guess they're still riding high off the momentum of getting the titles. And, oh, they lock up, pushed away though. Irish whip into the corner. Tag made, uh-oh, what do we got? Oh no, assisted, oh! And a leap tag to bring in Meg, but Large Marge was right there. And a rising knee for Meg. Now up and uh oh, in seven, bomb! At a level of playing field a little bit, no matter how large or in charge you believe yourself to be. It's, oh, wait a minute, Meg already up, and uh-oh, Callie Driver goes for the cover, but Gemma steps in to break up the pin. And Meg, not standing for that, takes out Gemma. Large Marge with a counter back to her feet and oh, quick headbutt on the ropes. Meg going down, but not out yet. Large Marge dumps her out to the outside of the ring. See how she likes it, I guess. Now Large Marge going outside to grab a hold of Meg. And oh, swing and a miss. And, oh, quick jab. Three. And throwing Meg back into the ring. But Meg grabs her from behind. It looks like Gemma finally back up on her feet. But uh-oh, in seven, bomb! 
Oh, holding on for the cover. And a near three count. Now into the corner goes Large Mart. Oh, Ashley grabs her. Oh, giving her a piece of her mind and a big chop to the chest. Now from behind, oh no, the Cali driver once again. Moving her away from the ropes this time, goes for the cover. Ashley. Takes out Jimma and the winners. Take out the champ. The aces get the win. They were riding high from that victory. The Aces just knocked them down the peg of three. We take a look at the replays here from this match before we lead into the main event of the night. Starring our new G1 champion. As the Aces pulling out all the stops. Managing to get the win in this Here rematch. Are your winners, Megan and Ashley Martin, the awesome one. That's got to hurt a little bit, but that is it for this match. We will be back with the main event here next on Knockdown. Good match. All right, the main event is loaded. As now we have Clay taking on the G1 champion, Tanner. Oh yeah, I'm sure. So here we go. All right, we are back here with the main event on oh, Knockdown. As here he come, he walks alone. He's going to take on the new G1 champ here in the main event. It's Clay. And of course, he's gone. The coat. Making his way to the ring from Pennsylvania, weighing in at 220 pounds, the champ, Clarence B. Man.
and his opponent from Tennessee, weighing in at 170 pounds, the world champion, the tank. And there he is, your newest world champ, the tank, Tanner. And here we go, Clay and Tanner are gonna have it out. No. I'm sure Clay obviously going to isn't going to make any possible victory Tanner thinks he can achieve easy, but I mean he's the tank. And after what he did in that last man standing match at Totally Screwed, I'm sure he can handle this. I think Clay will be okay. I think it'll be all right. As now, whoop. Now we are on the outside, obviously. This isn't like those Falls Count Anywhere matches that we saw earlier. So if somebody's gonna get count out, they're gonna get counted out. Now we're up to six. Clay possibly going for a count out victory. Seven. Slamming him into the pole now. And Tanner. Smartly goes and hops back into the ring. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, this ain't good. Now, oh, okay, bringing him back in. And through the ropes, baseball slide. Wow. One, two. All right, we're back into the ring. And now, there's a cover. And oof, Tanner has him all big DDT. Tanner taking a moment, Clay getting back to his feet and kick. And here he comes, double undertook, boom! As now into a arm bar, no, 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 no. A 
And now up and boom, right down Tanner goes. And oh, the disrespect from Clay, though I'm, I'm not surprised. Not in the least from Clay at this point. Though Clay looking a little worse for wear at this moment. And now, whoop, up and over the shoulders goes Clay now. The champ looking to be in control. Grabs him, but a reversal. Clay hit with an elbow out of the corner. Swing and a miss. Got him on the turnaround, though. Couple of stomps. And now there's a cover. And there's a two. And now, oh no, Clay! Getting rid of the turnbuckle there in the corner. And kick, countering Clay. And here he goes again, double underhook, but no, Clay counters. Irish whip, oh no, he's, oh, takes out the ref who was trying to fix the turnbuckle. Ooh, that's gotta be rough. And now look at this, slingshots Tanner back. There, now the ref putting the turnbuckle back where it belongs. As now Tanner on the side of the ring with Clay the DDT. Oh no, Clay is bleeding. So Tanner gonna have to decide what he's going to do here. Is he gonna go out and get him? Or is he going to stay in the ring and let the count out happen? Oh, okay, look, it looks like he's getting him. But not going to do more damage. Clay able to counter. And Clay pops back into the ring. But Tanner grabs him. And oh, what was Clay thinking? As now the blood is pouring out of the head of Clay, and oh no! The champ is down, but not out. As Tanner making a comeback, the tank. That technique paying off there with that. With this, is he possibly gonna tap? He taps! Your G1 champ gets the win. As, whoa, oh no! A hard fought match, but here comes the mighty Joe with his newly acquired case. Oh my God! And he just grabs him out of a straight run! The Mighty Joe comes in and cash that newly acquired case right hot off the heels of Totally Screwed! Can the tank keep going? Oh, this ain't gonna look good here for Tanner. And oh, quite the slap there. Uh oh, wait, no. He's getting ready. The tank, here it comes. Spin kick right to the side of the head. The champion out of this yet. Irish whip. He's in the corner. Drop kick to the back. Another drop kick barely faces him though. So Tanner grabs him. 
They struggle to break apart. Tanner tries to lay into him, but a scoop and a counter from Tanner. Technique paying off big time here. As the champ with Joe in the corner. They have to think Tanner just got done with quite the rough match with Clay here. And oh, he's setting up again. Boom! Nails him right in the head with that spin kick. Can he do it? Can he keep the title with this cover? No! A kick out at two. Tanner, though, with the counter shoulder. Smashing into the tank. Swing and a miss. Back at you. And oh, a mighty choke slam to Tanner. Into a cover. Three, that does it. That does it. We have a new G1 champion here. Tonight on Knockdown. Look at these replays and what Clay just helped facilitate here. Wow. Just wow. Tanner won. This match against Clay, but another match immediately after. Here is your winner and new world champion, Mighty Hug Joe. Joe said he wasn't just going to hold the case. He was going to use the case, and it just got used, and you have a new G1 champ here tonight on Knockdown. And we will see you Thursday for Throwdown. Well, damn. So, looks like we have another new <laughs> G1 champion. Um, yes. Yes, you are correct, Donut. Because... I'm, the same thing technically that essentially what happened is the game did did the same thing twice which is what the game likes to do because Lily cashed in her case won her case or won her match but then lost the title <laughs> at that pay-per-view obviously but Joe got the case and the AI decided to cash in here tonight on Knockdown and won and yeah so that is that. that's that So that obviously will lead us into Throwdown on Thursday, and I will admit this show live went off without a hitch at this time, and unfortunately I won't, like I said, be able to do the show at this time on both days, but it's around this time where the show 
and my internet behaves itself, right? So, I was able to do it now, I did it now, it worked out. So now, what's going to happen is thus. I'm gonna go offline. I'm gonna take the video of this and put it up on YouTube. I'm gonna keep up the YouTube uploads of this and have it come out some point tomorrow. Doesn't matter when. It could be early, got off early, 6 a.m. in the morning. Doesn't matter. Over on YouTube. And then on Thursday, I'm going to do Throwdown. And as soon as soon as I can do that, I'll be the doing the same thing after that, where Friday will come out, blah, blah, blah. And I will say here in a little bit, I will be back online. Okay? Uh, I will be streaming that new Aliens game that just dropped on Game Pass. The uh, Aliens Fireteam Elite. I actually got at least one person to join me. Somebody who I haven't been able to play a game with in a long ass time because the fates just have not been able to align. Let's put it that way. And I'll be doing that for a regular stream here starting at 7 p.m. So hopefully I will see you all back here then. So till then, I will catch you all at 7. Because I've got some more work and dinner to get.